Hi folks, my name is Johnny Finciun and I founded the Global Beer Network. I want to talk to you about living beer. Living beer versus dead beers? Indeed, most of the beers are actually killed at the brewery. They pasteurize it, they sterilize it, they even freeze it just to kill every living substance. So the famous born on date is actually a killed on date in many instances. We all know that the best way to keep our food fresh is to keep it alive. That's why on some markets in the world they sell living chickens, living goats, living frogs, you name it, right? We know that dead food deteriorates pretty fast, that we need to consume it as soon as possible, right? Well, the same is true for dead beers. Living beers, on the other hand, you can age just like good wine. About a thousand years ago, monks found out that you can keep your beer fresh by keeping it alive, by adding living yeast in every bottle or keg. So when the beer is ready to be bottled, they add a little bit of living yeast in the bottle, store it away, and a second fermentation slowly starts. This process takes about two to four weeks, and this fermentation makes a little bit of extra alcohol good and natural carbonation. Natural carbonation is what you need to have smooth, easy drinkability of your beer. Dead beers, on the other hand, have no carbonation. The brewer actually had to put CO2 in every bottle with a machine, pshht, just for you when you open it to see some bubbles. So, living beer, this is what you want, and all six beers in the sample pack are living beers.